real quick since we are live so I can see who's on there. All right, guys. So we've got quite a bit of things going on. We've got multiple drawings, and um, actually, we've got one of our winners who's in house right now to claim one of his prizes. Let me just get back to this to see where we're at. Yeah, I love that. As soon as I opened it up, I could see uh, Jacked Up Leatherworks on my feed. Awesome, awesome. If y'all haven't subscribed to Jacked Up Leatherworks, be sure to get with them. And yes, we are trying to get to our 20,000 subscriber mark. Awesome intro right there, Matthew. Good job. Lewis, what's up? Uh, y'all got the check up or uh, the thumbs up as well. All right. What up, what up? CJ, John, FTW. Yes, I've been trying to go live since about 11 o'clock this morning. I had to go make delivery. I got two more pending deliveries. Just got two more orders. Yeah, we're sitting at four pending orders right now for our tackle going out. So I am going to be working late because um, I need to get all this stuff situated so that way they could ship. They were so uh, this gun metal was supposed to ship out today, but I <laughs> like I said we're we're really swamped over here, which is great. I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining, but I wanted to get, you know, reels out as quickly as possible because, like I said, when I got in all those reels, quite a bit of them were for our YouTube winners on the drawings. And so finally, hey, they're, they're happy. I'm happy. So that's what's good. Uh, quick little rundown. Drawing number 28 for an SX Raptor. We have four sold, 31 left. Drawing number 25 for an LX Raptor. We've sold 15, we have 35 left. Drawing number 27 for the MXL Raptor, we have 13 sold, seven, 27 left. Um, you can get your tickets via Cash App at dollar sign Team Hard Life, $20 a ticket, and or call the shop at 361-334-2171, or come by the shop, Hard Life's Bait and Tackle, 1902 South Padre Island Drive. All right, so real quick, we have Mr. Raul Pineda. Did I say that right? Yes. Okay, uh, no, I mean, because my name is Sartuche, but I was saying Zertucci at the beginning, and my wife's like, hey, take pride in your name. I was like, I do, but I'm tr I was trying to say it away so people can understand it and stuff like that. So you won an MXL Raptor, yes. and when we talked to you, you said either gunmetal or server, depending on what color you can get, and we actually were able to get both of them in-house, and he picked the gunmetal, or the silver of the MXL. And what we did was I also went through a little rundown of teaching him the parts, uh, how to work it, you know, the drag system, the preset lever, two-speed disengaging, MC control, and the clicker. And he did the same thing. And then he was like, oh, man. I said, now you know how I feel. And so, all right. So real quick, though, um, because I do have a lot of work, other work to do after I get this set up, I'm going to go ahead and spool up the reel for him. And he went ahead and upgraded to the 60 to 100 pound test. So y'all gonna check me out, spool that up, and then I'll get back to everything else I got here. Stay with it, guys, because I've got some very humbling story to share with y'all and stuff like that. And that involves these two reels right here. I also have a tackle unboxing of Abbott reels right here. And then another spooling video for this one as well. So I may do those back to back. So let's get to it. <laughs> And I'll go and read some comments while I'm setting this up. All right. So, Jacked Up Leatherworks, John Joseph Anderson, Alfredo, what's up? What's up, guys? So, we have winner in house to claim is real, and we are going to spool it up real quick for him. So, I figure it'd be a nice way to get on the channel, get some video time air time with y'all yes sir i am going to be working late today um it's definitely going to be past eight o'clock before i leave here and yep another 12 hour day going to be logged down no worries all right all right for 60 pound test bus i have blue orange i'll go with blue chartreuse and I think that's it. I don't think I have any white. You blue's, want blue's fine for the sixty. For the sixty, all right. And what would you like for your top shot? Uh, so true. So we have 
Yes, we have it in the 100 pound. Sure do. And where is it? Somewhere here. Let's see. Do, 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 do. That's 40. That's 130. Oh, I just saw it. Okay, maybe I'm out of blue in the 60. Yeah, no, it's not over there. Okay, I'm out of blue in the 60. Uh, yeah, but that's that's used braid. That that's why that spools on that side. It wouldn't be one of those. All right, so I got chartreuse. I've got orange and. I think that's it in the 60 pound right now. We are low on some braid. Not good. Chartreuse. Chartreuse? Okay. Ooh, that's going to be close. I don't even think that's enough. Hold on. Yeah, because look, you can already see the... Uh, yeah, I don't think that's going to be enough for that. Uh, so it's going to be orange then? Yes, it's going to be orange. <laughs> My bad. Yeah, we've got... We've been spooling up reels like crazy, and so we've got uh, some, uh, actually, uh, that's also a heads up, guys. Tightline did confirm today they are sending us four spools to go for the 20,000 subscriber mark giveaway. So be sure to start hashtagging Tightline Braid on our um, sponsorship portion of the uh, comments, and that way we can start showing them some love as well. And also, too, I am finally getting some orders of the Tightline in-house, so that way we can start doing some great spooling videos. So awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, yes, sir, it's an and it's an MXL Raptor, that's for sure. All right. Trying to get them fishing in the house. We got Castillo Outdoors. Carl, what's up? Uh, jacked up leatherworks yes sir home metal what's up what's up so yeah y'all y'all are definitely got it going on the channel right now and yeah it's a late video but i am still working still got to get it done so um brandon what's up goss and i think i've caught everybody john what got you right there um, KTM, how many foot rod would you want to start fishing in a small boat? Well, that all depends, boss. What kind of small boat are you talking about? Uh, for me, I like to use one that has a unibut on it. Um, that way it has a, a real strong gimbal. And also, too, it's aluminum, so that way if I have to travel with the rod, I can disassemble it and hide it in a smaller area to travel with it. So... Um, you know, I've seen them as small as helicopter rods or, you know, long, you know, they make them big old 10 footers like those tuna guys do to get around the boats. But for me, um, yeah, five and a half foot, it'd be great on a boat because then you still have some great leverage over it and you can get that done. Let's see. I like the late video allow me to enjoy the video and not having to work all right thanks to everyone we are definitely definitely getting it done um we've got some major orders that are coming through we got a lot of work to put out um, so what i'm going to do is I'm gonna stay a little bit later so i can try and get ahead of everything we got going because once i sit down to start building whatever leaders i got to make i cannot be on this you know i cannot be at two places at once but at least I can get this set up so that way I can uh, uh, get it shipped out tomorrow. Well, this one he's picking up today. But I've got another uh, three reels i got to ship out. So those are going to be real cool. How's well, everybody's day at work, guys? Feels like a Friday. It really does. It's only hump day, hump day, hump day. 
Yes, 20,000 subscribers is our next goal. We've got more prizes now. Uh, four MXL Raptors, four Team Hard Life Rods, eight Fools of Raid now going out. Um, one custom made wallet by Jacked Up Leatherworks, uh, and also two fillet knives by Mr. Holm. Um, we need to get his company name so that way we can start hashtagging it for sure and getting it done that way. Yeah, definitely long day. Top shot. All right, so on the top shot, I've got blue. I got, or actually, you wanted the chartreuse, right? 100 pound. That is 40. Okay, good deal. We got one out of the two. <laughs> We will be getting on track for sure with the uh, flying capacity. And stay tuned, guys. We got some great, great colors of braid coming in real soon for the uh, for tight line. And also, too, it's going to give us the ability to start um, some spo ma major spooling videos because we have done a little bit, but we only had 1,250 yards to work with with the first spool that they sent us. Now we'll really be able to get some bigger reels on the market on that and stuff like that. So, ah, oh, yes, 300 subs. We are so close. Man, if we can get it by Friday, this will be an epic weekend for us to be able to pick and choose. But also, too, if it does happen to happen um, Friday, I got to check what time the... Um, Shark at the Moon tournament is this weekend. I think it kicks off Friday, ends on Sunday or something like that. Or Friday into Saturday, Saturday and Sunday, something like that. I need to double check it, but I know I'm, I'm going to be prepping to leave for that. So if it does happen to happen on Friday, I won't be able to do anything till Monday or Tuesday. Just because obviously getting back to the shop, got to get back on track on whatever I missed while I was gone. But we will definitely go live and that one's going to be quite a bit of a long video because we are going to be picking our winners. I can't wait. Cannot, cannot wait. This is our biggest subscriber giveaway ever. So, it, and like I said, it's only going to keep getting better, guys, because y'all are doing what we um, makes our sponsors happy. And it, like I said, it, they're going to give it to us to give to y'all. So we are excited. Let's see. And hosting on lip six. Yeah, actually, that's one of the videos that as soon as I uh, was going to YouTube so I can go live, I could see the, the thumbnail of uh, uh, Jacked Up Leatherworks holding it in front of the camera. So I know that's going to be a good video. And yes, glad he's also changed up his format so you can see it full screen too. That was a little suggestion I made to him. Unless you're doing the video shorts, then yeah, you know, you can do those screen upright. But if you're going to be doing longer videos, I highly recommend going widescreen. Because a lot of y'all put us on the big screen, so it's time to enjoy it. Yeah. Mm go we are set we love it love it love it so this is part remember how i was explaining about the tip it being 200 pound test so what i'm doing now is i'm going to take the braid back in on itself so that way when you are coming up against the rocks and you know your line is obviously going to hit the rocks because it's tied to the swivel this will enable it to take more abuse so you don't get cut off as easily but like i said for us the braid rubbing against the rocks since it's so smooth it just it, it just kind of curves over it it doesn't catch anything to be cut off as easily so 
Edgar, what's up? What's up? Hmm. Yep. Yeah. Uh, isn't that Shark at the Moon this weekend? Uh, the uh, cancer cancer tournament uh, that Nick puts on. Jason, how you doing, boss? Pepper Jack in the house. Let's see. Let's see. So now. And this also helps too for storage. So at the end of the day, you can just open a loop, you know, just pull it through, put it around the reel, and you can stow all your line. Also, too, have you seen the video where I tied the line on to the swivel, and then I can untie it? Yeah. That's like okay. So you're locked on on that. All right. So that reel is good to go. And actually, real quick, since I'm already set up with the camera here, uh, he's squared away. But yes, there's his SX MXL Raptor. Sorry. And I'm going to grab the other one that I need to get spooled up so we can get that one shipped out tomorrow. Give me just a second. I'll be right back, guys. All right. So there's that. And if you'll do me a favor, um, you'll sign right here to verify you have received it. There's your two screws and your back plate that will go for your reel right there. And you are good to go. Just remember, put in free spool, engage the clicker, and that way you don't have to worry about any backlashes or your in motion. But also, too, for uh, long-term storage, whenever you're done fishing, as you notice, all of mine are all in free spool. <laughs> everything, everything stays in free spool. That way you don't compress the drag washers and you don't have that zero to 100. You ever seen that where, like, there's nothing in between that area? Yeah. If you leave it engaged, you're going to end up doing that. Stuff like that. Congratulations again, Thank boss. You. Yes, sir. Thank you. All right, well, you have a good one. Yeah, I'm going to... Yeah, yeah, you got it. All right, so this one is for Steve Schumann. He was also one of our YouTube winners for drawing number 23. He won the Essex Raptor right here. And so we're going to go ahead and get this pulled up for him right there. All right, July 18th through the... Uh, 8th through the 10th. Yes, yes, yes. That is the tournament. Are you going to be out there, Edgar? So we have confirmed, you know, another sponsor is coming in on the, the, the deal. And yes, you know, it's, it's another uh, line, uh, braided line company, which is awesome because like I said, you know, they know that, you know, customers want to try out different kind of lines and it, you know, whether they go with this or with the Cortland, it, it is awesome. So. Uh, so with us right now, all of all the reels that we got set up are going out with Cortland, and we are selling the tight line braid because we feel very confident in it. Um, I just I want to get out there and start fishing with it. That's my biggest thing right there. I got a torture tested like I've done everything, and and also too I've noticed too y'all guys that are going through the videos and there's a lot of them and it's awesome, but um, the reason I'm bringing that up is because there uh as i'm going through and answering the comments i'm seeing a lot of these titles and descriptions that i need to fix so that's what i've been doing at the same time so that way i can better better attract people to watch those videos because there's a lot a lot of great information in my older videos well in all my videos you know there's, there's great information all the way around i just want to make sure it is properly displayed on there so they get more views and stuff like that so it's awesome um 
thing about Corpus, but it'd either be Saturday if you need help, Cap. Yeah, yeah, I, um, definitely, I wouldn't mind fishing with you, bro, you know, um, right now, I don't know what, uh, if, uh, my teammate can make it out there, uh, Mr. Kiki Corona, uh, because he's been working crazy, crazy amount of hours, he's actually going to break away tonight to go clear his head and go wet some lines, so more than likely he's going for alligator gar, uh, I know they did go uh, beat shark fishing a few weeks ago, and they got on some shark too, so that's awesome. And, yeah, buddy. I'm definitely excited because this weekend shark fishing, next weekend it's alligator gar fishing for Captain Eric's Team Rio Locos for, uh, fishing for smiles. Um, that is a great event right there. You know, that was something that I got invited to. And while I was there, you know, we, I realized that, uh, they needed more help with the amount of kids that showed up. They didn't have enough anglers out there to help them. So I called Captain Eric, you know, and we got some more of our teammates and his teammates out there. And that's where we learned, you know, some great fishing, fishermen out there, you know, they're, are extremely stoked and happy to go out there and be out there and that's where we met Curtis and many many great people all ages that love to fish and it was awesome totally humbling and can't wait to see the looks on their faces when we help out with the big old donation again so yeah I heard uh, he went out there with Fantas of those adventures and they, they went out and got some alligator guard too. Yep, with Sean. Yep. There's definitely a place to go, you know, alligator guard fishing here locally without having to go up to the lake or to the river. So this one I pulled out with 80 pound 16 strand Cortland in blue and it looks very nice. It really does. So I'm going to go and put this little tippet on there and this reel will be ready to get boxed up to ship out tomorrow. But I'm not going to do any boxing tonight. I'm just going to do all the spooling and um, everything I need to do so that way we can get these reels shipped out mañana. So I have fished almost all those areas and um, the craziest fishing I have done was, I want to say it was Freeport was where I had my biggest hookup and where I was fighting it. And I had it on for a good 10-15 minutes before he got off the hooks. Um, he picked up a like a 40 pound jack, three pound surf weight and ran with it like it wasn't even there. And so I had it on the 80 Abbott T-Rex. And uh, yeah, it was it was awesome. Had that uh, 130 pound class rod boat over and oh, it hurt that one still haunts me today. And that's kind of the hunting we were talking about uh, the other day of the uh, fish, things that haunt you and everything else. So give me a second while I reset back up here because I will be at the real counter today. Um, I'm going to scoot up a little bit so y'all can see what I got going on. There we go. All right, so this one goes with that. I will pick this one up so that one is completed. And you already know about the problem. So what I'm going to go ahead and do, go ahead and get this tackle unboxing right real quick. Yep, C. Bayless, what's up, boss? Ernest, how you doing? Mr. Chris. All right, I got to 
peanuts are going to drop out. That's snowing. I wish I could make that kind of mess in here, but I can't. Uh, but I won't be able to do anything till this weekend, guys. Like I've, I've got a lot of work I got to help them up to, and sweet. Okay, so um, the next one is these two reels. All right, guys. So the story behind this one is the father of the young man. Uh, <clears throat> The young, the young kid um, loved fishing more than life. Um, you know, was always ready to go and stuff like that. Well, he passed away with leukemia. So his father's having us build a uh, custom fit rat fishing rod. What we're gonna do, we're gonna put some of the young man's pictures on the fishing rod and put his name on there and stuff like that. Um, this is so that way the father can know that every time he's out there fishing, his son is with him. and. On that note, what we're going to do here is, and this is something that Abbott normally charges to have the parts configured differently, but after he was telling me that story, I felt that I, I, I was moved by it, and I said, you know what, if you purchase those two wheels, I'll go and switch over the parts myself. Um, as a simple little just gesture of, uh, of compassion right there. So. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I got a ton of names going through my head, but I want to say it was Josiah was his name, or is his name, and let me confirm real quick. Uh, yeah, Josiah, and he had leukemia. Uh, I had more information on my other phone, but as I transferred it over, a lot of the uh, uh, data got lost and stuff like that. And uh, I'll go ahead and show y'all some pictures of what I got from uh, his dad of his son. And that's, that's totally awesome. So, like I said, I felt moved that we could do more for him. And so, you know, just like I said, you know, there's a lot of things that are happening in the world today and you know just bringing up and addressing it is a great way to keep their memory alive and also to just bring awareness to a lot of things that a, a lot of people take for granted and or don't understand of what's really going on so what i'm going to go ahead and do is i'm going to move these parts around i'm going to go ahead and start with the reel over here because it just makes it easier now i wish they had the hole like the HXW where I could just disassemble that without having to pull this, but it looks like I'm gonna have to. So go ahead and move this part real quick. I'm gonna start with the spool and the housing. And I fi figure it'll be uh, give us a chance to talk and stuff like that. Now what I did do earlier today, off topic, way off topic, I uh Uh, there's a Facebook group, uh, Bigfoot, you know, sighting kind of deal. They, uh, I posted to their channel the deal with the, uh, my Bigfoot footprint that I found out there in Lake Mathis. Sorry, it was off subject and stuff like that, but, uh, yeah. 
I went ahead and shared it to their page. I have not gone back to see what they have said about it or anything, but I thought it was just cool, you know. So I've had kind of a really, really long day. Um, also went and had a VA appointment a day, so taking care of what I need to take care of with that so I can further move move along with that because that's something that I've been needing to do since I got out of the Marine Corps. I should have did it years ago and I didn't do it, and that's on me, so. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll stick to fishing. I know there's a lot of different people from all over the U.S. that have the uh, their favorite fishing groups and stuff like that. So, yeah. What's up, Ray? How you doing? How's everybody's day at work? Are y'all glad to be off? How many of y'all are actually cracking a beer right now? Kind of making me jelly. I wish I had one. Oh, yeah, it did make me like a little vitamin drink right here. It's supposed to have all the... Uh, nutrients of uh, the greens that you're supposed to intake for the day and stuff so I kind of cheat and take it all at once. Mm. And then speaking of which, last night <laughs> my daughter Kiki uh, a few days ago they were telling me to chug of water that they can chug it so fast and this and that and I said well that's cool you know go in what's up us and uh, I was like well I can't do it now I just finished off two steaks or whatever I had done and uh, and so you know they, you know kids will be kids since you can't do it right there they kind of call you out on it and stuff and, and last night my, my daughter Nora gave me a water and we were watching a, a movie, and the guy pressed the button for the elevator to come on. Well, when he did, I started chugging the water. By the time it opened up and he walked inside, I was already done with the water. And so I turned it over, I turned it over to her. I said, hey, check this out. She goes, oh, you already finished it? And I was like, yeah, like, drinking water is good for you. You really got to. So... So that's one reel kind of disassembled. What I can do here too is still take off this cap and the handle. So if you'll give me a second, I forgot the. Uh, Phillips. it up when I don't have to so I'm going to continue on disassembling this gotta stay healthy that's for sure um, and you know what I was alive I was falling asleep and I said if I, if I don't if I yawn again I was gonna drop down and do push-ups I didn't hear one comment of anything about my push-ups <laughs> I didn't see not one I was like man well other than, you know, Toby's confirming that I had done 30, but other than that, you know, I just I just thought I was motivating to drop down and do 30. I was only going to do 20, but somebody had, did say, you know, why don't I do 30 or 50? So I, I just bumped it up a little bit. Also, too, I didn't want to get too crazy and, um, you know, jump up to the 50 as I was trying to work quickly on the... Uh, making the kingfish leaders and stuff like that, so.
this this is kind of the tricky part right here because this plate you got um, six pins in there that you got to line up with this plate and if you don't it will not fully seat right so that's the only pain in the butt portion of this so. I do gotta say, uh, I've been catching up on a lot of the comments that are on the channel. Um, man, <laughs> some of y'all guys are really putting in some work, and, it, and like I said, and that's that's totally awesome. That's exactly what I was asking for, um, and and I look forward to when we get to twenty thousand subs to uh, start calling out some winners. So I look forward to that. Sweet, y'all are new to the channel and haven't gotten. There we go, got it. Gotten um, comments, and you still have plenty of time. And remember, I'm gonna be hitting shuffle between videos. I'm not gonna go from one video to the next. I'm gonna hit shuffle, and it's gonna shuffle around. So, don't know what videos are gonna come up to be chosen. So, there's a lot of videos there. Um, I don't know what my current count is. It's like 27, 2800 videos there. So definitely looking forward to that. I look down and see Marco what's up well no it's not an Iron Man reel but definitely definitely has a lot of respect on that um, the young man his father that wants this done is uh, says these are um, the colors for um, leukemia the cancer that uh, took his son um, but also too the uh, The other one is his son's color as well, so um, that's why we're doing this. And I, I didn't want to charge him for it, so um, I'm doing it myself instead of letting Abbott do it that way. What's going on here? It's crazy, sometimes they're fully seats, but sometimes it's just pain in the butt.
Yeah, the flash as well. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, so I know we got shark fishing this weekend, so definitely need to get up on some baits and stuff like that. And right now I'm taking Jack, Southern Stingray, Black Drum, Barracuda out there. And, oh, no, I guess I missed it. Didn't line it up correctly. called jacked up leatherworks right there share share the link jacob that way that way they can get to it quickly and like i said guys uh tyler and braid is also coming in on our twenty thousand subscriber mark giveaway with four or yeah four spools of line of different weight classes i believe it's 300 yard spools of each and multiple different colors so we are definitely looking forward to that See Bayless, you have a good night, bro. Good seeing you here, and thank you for, for participating. You have four counos, sweet deal. There you go, there's the link to Jacked Up Leatherworks. Be sure to give them a sub and check out his videos, as I'll be passing on whatever knowledge I can help him with his videos and editing and stuff like that. But man, I was I was really impressed with his video. You know, uh, I saw saw he put it together, the music and everything, which is nice. So oh, I forgot to ask you, um, the music you are using, or have you checked to make sure it's not copyrighted? That's going to be a major thing. You gotta you gotta be careful with the copyrighted music right there will really ding you right now it won't tell you anything that you have copyrighted music until you actually go and start uh, trying to earn money on the channel so uh, I've got to ask Jacob that I was real busy and uh, I, heard, I heard it drop but I got it Okay, okay. Well, uh, do me a favor, boss, just to double check it. Um, send me one or two of your songs through Messenger so I can download them, and I'll upload them to my, to my deal just because I am monetized. Just to double check, bro, because I'd hate for you to get way into it and then find out all those videos are compromised. Because I have found out that some of the, the music that was on the phone that said it was copyright free, actually I can't use it on YouTube. So um, just, just to help you out, brother, just to be safe, um, let's do that to make sure, because that way once I upload it, I won't get hit with the copyright, it will just say I cannot monetize. And if that's the case, well then you, you at least know that um, that's something you're going to have to look into. So, all right. So, so far I'm about 80% done. I still need to switch out the handles and the real seat and the little cap. Awesome. A few more subs. What's your sub count up to there now, Jacob? And also, have you uh, downloaded the uh, 
YT Studio. That's uh, that's another one you got to link your YouTube channel with because that gives you all the behind the scenes uh, analytics of your, your channel, how many times it's being watched. It also breaks it down to what uh, countries are watching your channel, uh, what else, the uh, age groups of people watching your channel, um, which are your high, highest view videos, and it, it just it breaks down everything for you. It's an, it's an amazing, amazing um, addition to uh, any YouTuber working their channel. So this is, oh man, that's beautiful. Oh, okay, I'm going to do the, the back plate too. Okay, these are the LX Raptors. I know they're $512, $511, something like that, without the, the, the color combination. Once you do that, they charge you $50 per reel. Uh, like I said, uh, I am uh, not charging him just because I know why he's doing this. And like I said, I felt really moved on the note that he was doing this in remembrance of his son. Uh, and that's why I'm doing it. Yes, definitely some Iron Man colors or even flash colors. It's, it's very, very awesome. K, 10K, what's 10K? Who's got 10K? Hmm. We're going for 20. Not backtracking, guys. We ain't backtracking. We're looking for more. <laughs> What's up, Christopher? What's, what's for dinner, guys? Start talking about food, or should we? No, no, maybe we shouldn't, because I'm going to be here a little bit. I want to get a lot of stuff organized for in the morning, and I might even start building some leaders, um, just so I can get a little further ahead right there. <laughs> Quit food. <laughs> uh, oh man, that sucks. Salt and salt sand and fishing. Is that a new? Uh, uh, Avatar name for your channel? Because I recognize that picture, but. Just making sure. So cool deal. What made you decide to change the name? And uh, another note too. It was a pleasure meeting you in the shop the other day. I wish I had been able to stay longer, but I had a lot of honeydews to get done and uh, matches Instagram now. Oh, okay. Okay. Cool deal. Now I got got quite a bit of things I want to get. What's up, Dylan? How you doing, boss? Definitely getting these reels, man. They are looking lovely, very lovely. So um, I'm gonna have to get back with him to find out what pound test line he wants on these. But I might have a suggestion to wait till next week to spool them up because I've got another color coming in, a braid. Uh, it is 80 pound, it won't be 100 pound, but uh, yeah, no, I gotta do the handle. I've come this far, I gotta do the handle. So let me give you a little close up of how they're looking so far. They look real nice, real nice. Look at that. Oh, yeah, I definitely gotta switch that out. I can't, can't let it be just like that. So let me do this real quick. Thank you. 
Hold on. Damn it. My tripod here is old, 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 old. It's time for a new one, but let me go and get the, uh, the little Phillips that I need to switch out that, those caps. No, I don't. See, guys, I, I own a shop, but it's crazy the amount of work and everything I got going. It's real, real tough for me to keep track of all these real companies and the amount of stuff they got going on. Now, I do have to say I can't wait for Avid to come out with the spinning reel. That will be really, really awesome there when they actually do. So, um, definitely looking forward to that. Still, hmm, they are looking pretty sick for sure. I know he's gonna be really excited to uh, get these and get them in, in there. And then too, I can't wait for the rod to come in too because the rod is gonna be built to match these colors, so it's gonna be pretty, pretty sick. Like I said, I just I was, I was moved by hearing him and, you know, it, no matter amount of time, you know, um, can heal it, but it just can, you know, make it a little easier to bear and to talk about and stuff. So I know I, I could feel his pain and
Just drag and set it up like you did with the winner. Sure can. Give me just a second. Let me get this sorted. And most definitely will do that. All right. Also, too, guys, what I do is whatever screws, thread work, or whatever come off this reel, I keep those in the same. I will not cross the threads over just because on the by chance something somehow some way yeah it's just any thread work I keep with the same reel when I am doing this just for that reason Oops. Cow, how you doing, boss? He's cracking. He's cracking here. Putting in a little overtime here at the shop. Got a lot of orders going out, and uh, a lot of our winners from our drawings. Uh, the reels have finally come in, so I'm doing what I can to uh, get them situated as quickly as possible. Definitely. Oh, that's off just a hair. Yes, yeah. well, okay, none of the quick draw raffles like we've been doing live, but we still have the, uh, the regular drawings. We have drawing number 28 for the SX Raptor. We have drawing number 25 for the LX Raptor. And then we have drawing number 27 for an MXL Raptor. Mm -hmm. Why is this being a pain? Just a hair. <laughs> Definitely would be nice to have a uh, little stand. To enter the drawings, you can send money via Cash App to dollar sign Team Hard Life. 
and make sure to include what drawing number you're trying to get in as well as the uh, uh, your cell phone number if you don't include your cell phone number we're going to send a five dollar charge for that so be sure to include your cell phone number please Got it. I just need to engage that. Awesome. Now I can put the cap on. Rocking and rolling. Got it. Yeah, I um, there's a notch for for that, and I put it on backwards. I was not paying attention. I'm trying to read y'all's comments and stay stay within that, but I need to. Stay focused a little bit. Raffle tickets are twenty dollars a piece. Joe's Crab Shack, very nice. Are you sitting outside, or are you the one downtown, or the one over here off of three uh, of the SBID? Uh, when I go downtown, I like to eat outside. It's pretty awesome. So there's one done. Beautiful all the way. That is epic, epic, epic. Very, very nice. All right, so now, go ahead and finish this one off real quick. Going Justin, yes sir. Later, Edgar, Roger, you all have a good one. I know it's late in the late in the day and everybody's tired, getting home, ready to go night nights or eat some grub. I'm uh, staying a little late today because I've got these reels that came in for our. Uh, are drawing winners and stuff like that so I want to get them out as quickly as possible knowing that it's been a minute and uh, also to the uh, we've got some big orders going out and I want to uh, ensure I can give a helping hand with the guys in the back you know we got a new kid, but you know he, he's still learning the ropes. So basically, it's up to me and Jeff to really pull it out, and we are gonna do what we can.
That they are. That they are. These are LX Raptors that we've switched over the parts on them to give them a two-tone on it. And uh, like I said I'm doing it because the, uh, the young man's father wanted the colors to help remind him of his son who passed away of leukemia. Very, very young age and, and really, really, uh, it really hit me. So I, I wanted to do what, what I could to uh, help him out, you know. Right, him purchasing both reels, I, I decided to uh, move the parts over myself and get it done. What's going on here? It's not fully seen. got to be a little more specific what are you trying to catch <laughs> that's the main one right there So too, where are you going to be fishing? Yes, please, please do that so that way uh, I can also get get it over to my wife so she knows uh, the plans for this weekend. Sweet deal. As soon as I get done with this, I'll get those tickets set up and sent over for all those who send any cash through Cash App. And remember, include your cell phone number and what drawing you're trying to get into. But there you go, guys. Those are the two rails. God, they look so beautiful. That, that's immaculate right there. Yeah. Yeah. And what I'm thinking about, I'm, I'm going to have to confirm with him, but I got some gold. And actually, let me wash my hands real quick before I start touching my spools of braid real quick. doing on this one putting the gold line on this one because it has a red spool so as the spool goes down you can or the line goes down you can see the red spool I've got some red braid coming in from tight line and I'll put it on this one so as the spool goes down you can see the gold so uh, I'm definitely got to talk to him to make sure that's okay and actually you know what maybe I can get him on the phone real quick since we are live. Um, give me a second, guys. Oh, wow. What's up, Max? Hello? Do, doing all right, boss. Uh, are you anywhere near a computer, or can you check out the can you check out the live video real quick?
What's up, John? Uh, I don't know what's going on with Bob up here. All I know is they are breaking it down. Uh, but we are going to have to start going to the meetings and or I'm actually going to go over there and raise some hell to where they can get some meetings set up to where more people can attend other than 2 o'clock in the afternoon when everybody's at work. Like they really are not giving the guys who actually have jobs the ability to get out there and show show up and start you know really participating in these things because they hold them in the afternoon when the only people that can show up are those that are retired or that you know are here visiting or something like that you know what i mean uh all of us that live here we all work normal jobs you know so even for me that i own my own shop it's near impossible for me to just break away you know to go to these meetings you know uh, but i'm gonna do what i can to get out there and see what the deal is and uh yeah they are that they are so that and also too they're going to make the pier to where it's not where you're parking ahead of the dunes you're parking behind the dunes so now it's going to be near impossible to land fish safely quickly without really having to run all the way around to the end run around the dunes come all the way back toward the water to be able to get to the fish and stuff. I mean, it, they're really making it extremely, extremely hard. Um, they're saying because the pier has been down for so long that the beach is taking over. And I mean, there it's, it's, I don't know, it's, it's some serious, I wouldn't say nonsense, but it's some serious things that they're considering or not considering and stuff like that. So, No, I know. I'm I'm saying ben, benches and canopies. You know they're supposed to make the pier wider, but it's still it's going to make it to where people are going to be like, well, this is my area. They're going to start trying to take ownership of certain areas of the pier, whereas normally before it was you know it's open to any portion. I mean you can fish elbow to elbow and you should be okay. But yeah, it's been crazy. Well. Um, Pin perch works really well uh, around here. They've been doing croaker for the redfish. They've been tearing them up that way. Live croaker, live pinfish, piggy perch work as well. Uh, cut sand trout, cut skipjack, live manhaden or pogies over there. Um, shoot, I've used 10 to 12 inch, you know, live uh, manhaden like this, and I was catching slot rips. You know, they they are really really aggressive when they are in there and stuff like that. So. What's up, Joe? How you doing, Devil Dog? So, oh wow, okay, Sure thing, boss. Shrimp will work too, live shrimp. Fish bites with dead shrimp, that'd work as well. Mullet, finger mullet, cut mullet. <laughs> A lot of baits. Redfish are pretty, pretty diverse eaters right there for sure. Fresh bait works the best, not unless you have some uh, uh, salted shrimp, you know, but if they're going to go that route, I might as well just go with fish bites. Yeah, that'll be sweet. I look forward to that if you knock that out, Max. Did you get it, boss? Yes, yes, sir. Okay, so what I was thinking, you see this gold right here? This is the 12th strand of the Cortland braid, the master braid. 
It's still a hollow core, uh, but they consider it their, their solid braid. I was thinking about putting this one on this reel, so that way as the line goes down, you can see the red spool. I've got some red braid coming in that I can throw on this one, but it won't be until next week. That way as the spool goes down, you can see the gold spool on the inside. Okay, you like that? Awesome. Well, I'll give you a little bit of close-up too on the reels. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Took, took a little fandangling, but we got it. So, that was definitely worth the wait. <laughs> okay, well, and uh, def definitely check, uh, rewatch the video and stuff so you can see what I did earlier on. But I'm definitely going to do another one and, um, and, you know, really, really take a little bit more time doing it and stuff. But I am live, so. I'm going to get back to it over here because i, I got more work i got to do and stuff like that before I can go home. <laughs> Will do. Will do. Yes, sir. You have a good night. All right. Okay. So, he loves the idea as well. And uh, we're going to go ahead and go with that. So, now what i got to do... Yeah, no, that's that's a major right there. Yeah, but at the same time, even though you don't have a very productive trip, you know, putting the knowledge out there is what I've learned that even though it, uh, there's videos I put out there that I don't catch or turn a click, part of fishing, it's part of hunting. I mean, they, you can be the most experienced angler out there and. Like I said, that's why I've been working the underwater cameras as much as I can because there are just going to be times where <laughs> what they're in lockjaw, you know what I mean? And uh, by putting the cameras under there, you have seen where schools of fish move through where my fish are and they don't even hit it. I mean, I've had schools of reds run through, schools of sheephead, drum and all of that, and they just did not touch the bait. So, I don't know, maybe it's because they could see the leader, but I'm using clear mono. I mean... It's definitely, they know, because sheep had come up and bite on the hook, trying to get the hook out of the fish, trying to let them go, and a blue crab will come up and take the hook right out and swim away with the bait. <laughs> yeah, so, all right, so that's handled right there, guys. Um, I'll be spooling that up once I get the other braid that I need. So in the meantime, I'm just going to get back over here to my desk. got some uh, shark leaders that I want to get done up. I am uh, looking at the five and six footers. Let's see. Yeah, I've got to make, uh, I got to make six foot shark leaders. I've got to make 24 of those for this, this one. And 24 bull red. 20 bull red on this one so that's 45 bull red liters I got to make there and yeah so I've got quite a bit of shark leaders I got to do but mainly the bull red leaders but I'm already kind of ahead with the shark leaders I've got uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 9 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11 I got 11 already done up for the 6 footers so I figure since I'm kind of already there, I'll go ahead and finish those up. So 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Oh man, like I said, I was trying to get this video started earlier today. It just, there was so much, so much going on. Um, I'm actually getting a new uh, uh, POS system, so that way I can, as I'm charging my cards and stuff like that, I can actually get it to where it won't charge as much, 
but it's still going to put a charge in there for the customers, put it back on the customers. Um, the reason we're having to do that is because I have seen how much money we are really losing on top of, I mean, besides buying the product, all the overhead we already have, it's another overhead item um, that we have to really consider and it, it really uh, does put a hurting on us and our ability to um, make profit to where we can turn around and keep buying more product. Um, for example, a $3,000 sale or a, almost a $4,000 sale, I paid $118 in just credit card charges. So with the new company, it should drop it down to where it's going to be minimal to where, you know, it's, you know, it's maybe 10 or $20 for that same amount of charge, which, you know, if that goes back on the customer, it shouldn't be too much. But if you think about it, if you go to the ATM and try to pull out that kind of money, you're going to be charged a lot more. So it definitely beats ATM pricing. Um, I was looking at putting an ATM in here, but, uh, like I said, I'm going to do everything I can to keep our prices low. Um, but by doing that, i got to ensure that my overhead is low. So uh, that's just something the way it goes, guys. It really is. So when you fish for halibut, um, I've seen underwater footage where halibuts don't sit on the floor like flounder do. They're actually in the mid-water column and they'll be, you know, at different depths. Some at 50 foot, 100 foot, 200 foot. They don't sit on the bottom. And that's what I really thought they did like, you know, with, uh, with our flounder around here. That they were sitting there in the bottom and they don't. <laughs> so... Uh, Yes, the online store looks like it's down right now because they are uh, editing the uh, Avid Reels because they've gone up in, Ju in uh, June and or, yeah, it was in June, they went up and uh, a few sales for the Reels on the old pricing went through and then customers were upset, but we, we had to let them know that we could not honor that price because, you know, with uh, it just going up a few months ago and then going up again it was just easier for us to take it down and uh, revamp it that way before it went live again so if you are looking for anything you can call the shop at 361-334-2171 obviously not right now guys because we are you know live here on the channel but you know get with us tomorrow morning and we can definitely get you sorted on whatever tackle you're trying to order and then we can get it out fairly quickly like I said those reels right there um the gun metal will go out tomorrow. Um, I can ship the gold one, but uh, because I can spool that, or actually the red housing one, no, the gold housing one with the uh, 100 pound of the 12 strand tomorrow. But I think what I'll do is I'll wait to I get the other line in just because I want to show them what they look side by side. I think that's gonna be look really really epic of a video right there. So. so. What's the biggest halibut you've ever landed? How much or what now? now they got they got a lot of reels out there. <laughs> Which reel are you specifically asking for, Junior? tennis elbow still so oh nice so you're still using weight are you is this a casting leader or are you kayaking it out there dropping it and then 
just you know like you would do from uh, fish for shark and do you hook your live bait so that way you force it to swim up so that way you don't have to have a hook a float underneath with it or do you uh, get it to swim down but with the float so that way He's trying to get to the bottom, but the flow keeps him kind of up off the bottom. Ooh, wow. Are you sure it was a halibut and not a uh, salmon shark? even you know I know there's uh, seals out there as well but I definitely want to go salmon shark fishing when I get out there Yes, yes, I, 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 I t said that I, uh, I'll do the cash app once I'm, I'm off the live feed here and get your ticket to you. Yes, sir, I saw that. And also, too, my phone notified me over here that the, the, something came through. I just didn't know what it was until I saw your message. Sure did, boss. We'll get that to you here shortly. Definitely would be nice to sell out a few of these drawings. Now, real quick, on your thoughts on this, this process here. Okay, I've been doing it to where I have multiple drawings for multiple items. I'm thinking about making one drawing, same amount of cost to get in it, but I'm gonna have it at a set price, say $500. And once the tickets sell out for that, the drawing's gone, I go to another $500 drawing. And just keep it going like that so that way you have a credit of $500 so you can pick and choose what size reel that you want to get or rod or line or whatever you want it to be because I mean we already offer that now but I think this would be easier because then I'll have one one drawing going on at a time and it'll make it real easy that way you could just send however many how much money you want and I'll automatically know it's for one drawing with your cell phone number and when you win, you can pick and choose what you want to win. I was thinking about that, and that would make it so much easier on us, too, because right now we got four bags of all of these uh, uh, tickets going on. And if you actually look at the numbers, I would have already done one drawing, would have been on to the next drawing, and I think they would move a lot faster. So, ooh, we got 19.7 awesome 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 that's great yeah <laughs> good deal good deal shoot i have to say that the, the, the hundred that it took to get to 197 did take a lot longer than i thought it was going to do i really did so i'm hoping and praying that we can get it done a lot faster to get to 198 and 20,000 subs guys we have so many prizes available and stuff it, it's crazy That's what I'm saying. I think with by just offering a set amount for one drawing, I think they will sell faster and move a lot quicker in comparison to trying to do this many drawings. This, you know, I, I think it would be a lot easier. So I'm kind of already set on that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue with these drawings till they sell out, and then. Once they do, I will start that and it'll be just for like a $500 credit and it will be uh, 
definitely. Uh, I think it will it'll, it'll go a lot faster and stuff like that. Back to the brake line and the fish pulls and my run brake line circle does its job. Okay, it's been a hundred subscribers a day a day. Yeah, yeah. It, it like I said, it we we're getting. 50 to 100 subs every day and then all of a sudden it just slowed down like somebody put the brakes on us man that's not cool whoever did that needs to get the foot off the brake and put it on the gas put that kind of leverage on the gas so it can get going yep oh wow I've, okay okay so if you're fishing out there from shore and stuff like that. Do you have to require, are you, I mean, obviously a fishing license, maybe. Um, do you have to have a, like a permit to go after halibut that way? And are you casting or kayaking for these baits? stingrays I mean I, I gotta ask I'm not from the area so definitely want to learn so I'm gonna ask all kinds of questions guys Five tickets yeah we can do that because 35 ain't cheap it's right in line with some of the other uh, tickets that we got now and stuff like that so yeah we can do it for 700 So you said you you got broke off a 120 pound mono. You're casting that? That's some pretty thick mono if you're doing that. Well, I wouldn't say you were targeting them, but I'm just saying, you know, it's they're opportun opportunistic feeders as well, and they will eat live bait too. So uh, just. You know, trying to trying to get some knowledge. Yep, that or they want to get a custom rod too, you know, or you know, a whole bunch of fishing tackle. I mean, it really all depends what they want to do. And I think, like I said, by running one one drawing at a time, they will sell faster and we'll move a lot a lot easier through this. So I think that's the way I'm going to start doing this one. And uh, I think it will really open doors to allowing us to do that. Um, so I'm looking forward to that as well. Yeah, we do a limited number of slots to to enter the drawings. We normally just do the 
what it takes to cover whatever we're trying to sell out. Um, by doing that, I think it's the fairest way possible. Before, what I used to do is like uh, give my guys tickets and we'd sell them out, you know, sell for like two or three weeks. And then we'd say, we, hey, we we're gonna on this day, we're gonna hold the drawing. And there was sometimes some of the guys would sell an ex a lot of extra tickets, more than we needed for the amount of prizes. So what we would do is we would offer more prizes to cover the extra monies that we did make off the drawings. And I felt that was the fairest way to gain more prizes and more winners and more happy, happy customers. Because uh, when we first started doing the drawings, you know, it was for like five prizes. And then it would end up with like eight or 10, just because uh, there was enough money for it to cover it. And so I felt that was my best way to be fair with everybody. So, that's Mamoy, is that braid or is that mono? And also, you're casting that? What kind of reel are you using? Um, yeah, you, you can do that, Chris. That's fine. Um, only because I do have your number. And uh, are you doing this for the... Uh, A specific reel or something like that because like I said I'm, I'm still selling out of the uh, the current drawings we got going on and then I will move out from there and and uh, I, I think going with you know a $500 or a $700 limit will be pretty awesome because then people can really pick and choose and we got one drawing so more people getting them in faster I think we're gonna sell a lot more of those faster and you know, two or two, we might sell two or three a week. That will be awesome. It'll really go in, t in tune with our uh, our drawings here. And then maybe, yeah, we can probably do those smaller drawings, but I think this will just, it will really, really take it over the edge for what we're looking to do. Um, actually, real quick, what I can do, I need to go cut mono, but I don't want to cut mono right now because I have a lot of other things, materials already here. So I think what I'm going to do is use the materials that I got here to start my next step. I've got to make 24 of the redfish casting, which are slot red leaders. So I think I will do that real quick. So I need 24 of those. That would be the LX Raptor is the biggest reel we have right now in the drawing. And uh, you can send it through, Chris, but do me a favor, remind me that you sent the, the funds through here. Um, So I think this, by, by doing it with the, the credit, you know, in-store credit for the $700, I think will be our fastest way to really start moving a lot of product. So I'm, I'm excited. I really am. So once we sell out of these other three drawings, we will definitely start that one and we'll, we'll see how it goes for sure. Chris Curl, there you go. Joseph Anderson, what's up, soup? Yeah. Shoot, yeah, we were doing a few drawings a week. That was a couple of times we sold out, like two or three drawings in a week. Um, but I have noticed too, this year is not like it was last year. Last year, it was it was phenomenal in how fast we were moving these these drawings and stuff. And this year, it's kind of slowed down a bit. 
Um, but, you know, we are getting the winners, their prizes and stuff like that, as you can tell. Uh, yeah, it has been a little longer than planned, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, but I think by going with the, the single raffle for the set amount will really, really take hold and stuff like that. takes a, a penny away from me? Golly. fishing right there. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, this is, this is, this is different. Yep. Yeah. Hello, everybody. Good evening. Just leaving my son's practice headed to home. There's having a good one. Toby! Toby, Toby in the house. What's up, boss? Yeah, we've had one one very, very uh, uh, productive live video feed right here. Started building some shark leaders. Got two reels twisted or uh, moved over in parts. Also did a spooling video. Actually, two two reels got spooled up, and one was a YouTube winner for one of our drawings. And the actually both of them were, but one was in house. The other one we're going to ship out. And then we also had a good story uh, of why I switched over those parts for uh, one of our customers right there. Bird, what's up, cat? I am here. What can I do for you? tying offshore loops for my top end of the leader over here. Give you a little closer of what's going on. I have not crimped them, but I just tying my offshore loops. This is 100 pound test, 100 pound uh, swivels right there. And yes sir, getting it done. Jeez, wow. Yes, sir. You have a good one, Toby. Yep, we are just comparing notes and fishing knowledge for halibut. It's definitely also to one of my uh, bucket list fish for sure. I'd like to do one off a kayak, off a boat, and also from shore. Uh, that's the thing about bucket list fish for me. I want to try them in different areas, you know, to, to be able to do them. Um, fish for them in different style of techniques and stuff just to see how it works, yeah. Yeah, wow. 
wonder what kind of fishing that would be like to have that right here. Oh man, that spot would be packed all the time. <laughs> yeah. But I'm wondering if the weather is what keeps those spots kind of open. But you're saying you're fishing during the summer. Uh, what kind of temperatures are you looking at out there for that area? FTW, what's up? Jesus. Man, that's that's a drop right there. What kind of weight are you using? I know when we were dropping in a thousand foot, we were throwing like uh, five pound and three pound leads down there and stuff like that. Yep. I'm down for that. Well, okay, hold on real quick. Um, let me check to see what time that tournament starts up because they just sent me the link. Uh, yeah, there you go. Start at the moon. Hold on real quick. See what time it starts. July 8th, it starts on July 8th. Okay, you must not have lines in the water between 12 p.m. and 5.59 on July. So it don't start till 6 o'clock. And they also have a stipulation in there that you cannot fish from noon till 6. So you can pre-fish, but at noon you cannot have any lines in the water because you will be disqualified. Okay, okay, so from noon to 6. So that means that yeah, I can I can be here during the day, but I, I will have about a three to four hour drive to get over there. Um, so it's from Sabine Pass to Matagorda. No federal or state parts. Yep, I'm definitely gonna have to read that because. Uh, you know, with every every tournament, read the rules, guys, because there may be something in there that you may not pay attention to, and it can really cost you and stuff. So, okay. So, if you ship us the reel and it comes in, so tomorrow is Thursday two days so it'll be here Saturday we would ship it back out Monday because Saturday the uh, yeah, post office will be cold, closed I, clo I think they close at noon or something like that on Saturday so it would have to ship out Monday 
and then it would be like a two day shipping to get back to you. Uh, two or three day, we can do it in a two day shipping and yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, the Northern Lights are something that I also want to go see too. Definitely, definitely interested in, in seeing some earthly phenomenons like that. There you go. Sounds good. Yeah. Um, Make sure to include any kind of notes on the reel of what you want spooled, how you want it spooled. Please be as specific as you can. Um, more than likely, I will be going live with the spooling if I am here. If not, then Jeff will do it. And trust me, he's very good at what he does too. So I wouldn't, if I didn't trust him on my reels, I would not be having him spool y'all's reels. And for a lot of the tournaments time, Normally when I'm out running errands or whatever, I have him going through my reels for a tournament. So you've never heard me once complain um, that he missed something or didn't do something right because he hasn't. So just to give you an idea, you know, I trust him on my gear when I am tournament fishing. So yes, uh, he is very good at what he does and stuff like that. And PayPal, we do not have PayPal. We do have Cash App and or you can call the shop. 361-334-2171 or even yes cash app dollar sign team hard life so you can send your payment that way too. so yeah I stopped dealing with PayPal a few years ago guys because it was really really becoming a nuisance um, one day I get my phone just started going crazy ding da ding da ding da ding and I'm looking and I'm getting $150, $200, $100, $50, $90, da 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 and I was like, damn, I'm making some sales. Like, I really thought I was making sales, so I went into each one trying to figure out what it is, and there was nothing there. It, was, it didn't have no description. It just said, you know, payment received, payment received, and then by, you know, while I'm trying to figure, going through all of these, I started noticing that all the money was gone. Like, they pulled it, and it was not a little amount guys it was not like 200 bucks or 300 bucks it was like five thousand dollars to ten thousand dollars it happened to me three times and each time i called paypal immediately and told them hey something's going on my deal has been hacked i started changing all my passwords and doing everything i could you know to to stop the process or what have you and then it just uh yeah, you know, so the first time, okay. Second time, I really, really, you know, did what I could to protect it and stuff. And then the third time, I was like, okay, if PayPal ain't stepping up to, to provide true safeguards for it, I do not want to be caught in, up in some kind of uh, fraudulent scheme or what have you. And then they're blaming me doing it, and I have no idea. I'm not, <laughs> I barely can control these phones right here and stuff like that, you know, so... Uh, yes, Chris, I got your text confirmed that. So I got two two tickets going out, one for the LX and then for uh, Namco. Uh, I'll be checking uh, his cash out. Uh, for whatever ticket he needs and stuff like that. So, But I am starting to get real hungry, guys. Real hungry. So I'm gonna finish these off real quick because these are the ones that kind of gonna take a minute because uh, it's two per liter or two liters per per package, and we're doing the casting liters for this. And then ooh, oh okay, no pump, no no pump. I thought I was gonna have to do some pumping on leaders, but I guess not. Which is good. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There's paper. No, no, I'm good. I'm good. Good, good. But uh, one of our distributors just ordered 
700 surf weights. One, three, four, seven, eight hundred pounds of regular weights on top of that. So, yeah, we've got a very busy schedule for this. And then they also ordered 900 bags of fish bites. So, yeah, we've got some major orders going out, which is great for us. These are the kind of sales that we, we really want to be working on because. Uh, it's a few, it's, you know, about two, well, maybe about a dozen items. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, basically twelve items in those large quantities. I like that because then we don't have, you know, ten pounds of this, five pounds of this, five, like, a, you know, a hundred different items, and you're sitting there checking them off, and, it, you know, it just makes it a lot easier to do that. Actually, I think that's where the video came from, uh, where we saw, and those halibut were like two to three hundred pounds, is what they were saying um, in the video. And you know, they were they weren't they were down, I think, 150 foot in a 300 foot area, something like that, is what the the, the guy said about the video. Uh, I could be mistaken, but that, that sounds about right. All right, guys, so those are crimped up right there. That'll get me the 12 packages I need. Now I just got to do the other section with the hooks. Yeah, no, most definitely that. <laughs> like I said, guys, I really want to start traveling and really going into, you know, a lot of my subscribers' backyards when invited, obviously. Uh, that way they can, you know, show me around, try to get on some big fish, and, you know, just have a good time, guys, because that's what it's about, you know, learning knowledge, trying it, and, and definitely getting going on it. And I got Mr. FTW. So what I'm going to do is Which drawing would you like to get into, boss? Wow. <laughs> God. Okay. So they do catch them that big and stuff like that. Now, dude. Does the meat get tough like every other fish does when they get into those bigger sizes? Because, I mean, I would love to catch one that big and stuff like that, but if it's going to taste like crap, I would just rather release it. Um, you know, I mean, kind of like everything else, you know, I would want to eat good fish. I don't want to uh, eat something that's going to be, you know, eating a leather boot and stuff like that, so... I appreciate that, Mr. FTW. Thank you very much for that. Most definitely would maybe do a video short teasing y'all about that. Yeah, buddy, man. It really, really. Yes, sir. That's awesome.
definitely gonna knock these leaders out real quick and then uh, tomorrow I'll build the other ones and then I will get onto bending wire because we're gonna build like I said three four five six seven hundred surf weights and then you know what was it again six seven eight eight hundred pounds of regular weights and oh no no another shop actually placed another 200 pounds of regular bank weights <laughs> we just delivered to them last week and they added on to it so hey i'm not complaining i'm i'm very blessed right now that we are getting the orders we are getting because we are moving the product that we want to be moving um, in large numbers that's what really helps us to to uh, really uh, ensure our time is well paid for down here and stuff like that which enables us to make bigger jumps and leaps and buying more product to keep our prices low uh, I like to buy in bulk and the last day for the raffles is when I ever stop selling raffles um, each of the raffles I got currently as soon as they are sold out I'm not going to repeat them but I am going to set up to do um, a credit here at the shop for $700. So it looks like we'll be selling 35 tickets. And if you win, you got a $700 credit. So you can purchase reel with line or rod with reel or however you want to do it. But I think I'm just going to run one drawing at a time instead of the four the way we have been doing. Uh, and, you know, just just so we can get them going faster and quicker because I think that one, that fire raffle that we did the other day for Homer, really, really did show us that we can move these drawings a lot faster and easier and stuff like that. So, uh, like I said, we got a drawing for an SX, MXL, and LX Raptor. $20 a ticket, you can send it in here, but the only deal is within here, if you haven't already purchased tickets from us before, I would highly recommend you sending it via Cash App because um, you would have to get us your cell phone number so we can um, forward you your ticket number so that way we can confirm or you can confirm which is your ticket. That way when I go live after I sell out on the tickets, we can uh, be all on the same page for sure. taste hmm. do you think maybe because it was the size of the, the halibut or have you tried sashimi and those smaller ones you know maybe the 30 or 50 pounders instead of a 200 pounder what's up Steve how you doing give it till 10 o'clock hopefully I can knock this out before then so this will be have been a real productive live video feed remember our 20,000 subscriber mark is coming up please share the link of the YouTube channel to all social media so we can continue to grow and stuff like that um, we definitely want to really get it going and I am going to be contacting that uh, that individual that was I was told that would help us get the word out about you know helping the community with with uh, helping the kids and then the next generation of fishermen so I'm looking forward to that and I'm definitely gonna take that and run with it for sure thank you for passing the ball on that one and uh, we're gonna we're gonna be going for some touchdown guys definitely 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 yes sir and actually, once I get home, I'm going to start taking some uh, measurements because i got to put up a some uh, shelving in a closet. I've already, actually, I already got them cut and stuff, but I need to get the uh, brackets for it, hang the brackets, so that way when I start putting in the shelving, 
it's good to go. Oh, oh man. What time does Home Depot close? Hold on, I gotta run to Home Depot. Closed, ah. Oh, I was gonna go buy a Reese's LED light so I can put it in the hallway. I was gonna move that over and stuff. And I was probably looking at a light to where I can uh, hook into a smoke detector as well. So that way it's always there and we don't have to rely on the power. But again, two, uh, I want to say if one has one where the uh, it has batteries as a backup, I guess you can say. So that way if the power were to go out, it still has a backup to ensure that if any smoke or anything like that is going on even with the power out we can still hear it so um, I'm assuming that's probably why they do them with battery devices with power from your home so section right here okay so the reason why the top end of the leader is offshore loop and not this section is because this section doesn't have the amount of force because all it is is it attached to the leader with the bait but the baits attached to the weight or even if it's not it's still not taking the full brunt of your cast as you're, you're putting it together to cast out this one is holding the weight holding all the bait and leader and everything and wow look at that I missed a crimp. I just found that. Yeah. So that's why I put an offshore loop on the top end, but really don't need it on the bottom end right there. So. So we're gonna have to get you down here again. <laughs> been helping out with that as well uh, putting Team Real Locos channel on our TVs here to help them build uh, their 4,000 hours um, so that way you can get monetized because that's going to really help him help uh, with more and bigger giveaways and stuff like that so that will be awesome very very awesome so where are the hooks I bring them up here no I didn't Hold on real quick guys, I gotta run to the back. enough to cover this it looks about right probably probably a couple extra but for a living there.
<laughs> that was close. Oh, okay. Cool deal. Are you an educator? Good night, Daniel. You have a good night, Papa. Sweet dreams, and we'll see you tomorrow. kids ever since uh, they implemented that uh, healthy kids eating at school or whatever they man they're always coming home hungry and starving so we normally have to have snacks you know in order to keep them uh, at bay because <laughs> you know the sneakers commercial these kids are like that they definitely are you know they're a little bit when they're a little bit hungry and stuff and you know I, I can't blame them you know they, they're out there exerting themselves practicing you know going through school and everything it's you know they get home and they're hungry so it's definitely something to do uh, but even then too I can remember growing up and and I was always hungry but I had a stupid stupid high metabolism rate like I said as a freshman in high school I only weighed 83 pounds <laughs> but I did I was I was in very good shape I really was but I definitely had to go to the gym and start building up my strengths especially my arms my grip and everything everything like that my running was on point like I could run forever and stuff so guys is I'm min building mini casting redfish rigs you've got your swivel it comes down to your weight and you can use a regular weight and or surf weight I like to throw surf weights on and these are similar to the same design technique or design implementation of using uh, three weight longs at the jetties when using these the weight comes up out of the water and the fish stays down low so that way the fish is swimming through the rocks and not your weight getting stuck so that's why I'm, uh, these are another popular leader too and stuff like that. And I like it too because I can bring the bait to the weight and when I cast out I can get some really good distance. Oh yeah, definitely running. interested in all of that. Oh. Oh, almost messed up there. Almost went the wrong way.
These are 100 pound tests, it's Suffolk Superior Monofilament. And yeah, definitely some strong line. I've, biggest uh, redfish was easily in the 50 inch range, Jack Revell, 40 something inch range. Um, we've done pup sharks on these, uh, big black drum on them as well. gaff top and all of that and I've got a, a similar version of this but in the Jack Cravel leader but that's 130 pound test and I actually started attaching floats so that way I could use them for fresh water but I know they're gonna be a hit for the salt water I just got to get back out there and do some more testing so. oh that would be awesome because that's one of the things that I really no, I need to light up is that, that spooling area because when I'm doing those spooling videos, you know, I know I, there's some shadow there that it, I could have a lot better uh, video if I had better light there. That's why I went with the LEDs because it did brighten it up from the regular lights that I was using. It's just still not, like I'm still not completely happy with it. So yeah, no, definitely that would be awesome. put some uh, an eight foot LED strip light in the back for the guys because we have a workbench there and uh, the lights are up on the ceiling but man they still after working back there all day it's still not enough light so I'm definitely gonna uh, be putting some light back light I got the light fixture mounted there and stuff like that I just hadn't ran the power to get it up and running for the guys yet and stuff so I need to do that but also, I would probably have to add in another circuit or, or learn how to add it into one of the current circuits that are there because it is LED lights. They don't use too much electricity, but, you know, that's not my forte, so. All right, CJ, you have a good one, boss. Good night. And I'm almost done here, too. I got probably eight or ten more. I don't know. I got seven more bags I got to build so I think I might hit hit my mark of being out of here by 10 o'clock so rocking it and rolling it Just smash the thumbs up yes sir keep smashing the thumbs up and sharing the channel link guys we definitely got to get to 20,000 subs quickly because you know I want to do this giveaway fast so we can get onto these big sharks quick because they are here um, September is like the last month for the big sharks so I want to get it as quickly as possible uh, and or for the alligator guard too because once it starts to cool off uh, the alligator bite does slow down so uh, yeah it's 9 9:37 over here so, yeah, but I got I got